Ruby Hammer. I'm an international makeup artist with 25 years experience working on editorials, fashion shows and all kinds of commercial work. Hyperpigmentation takes many forms, so it could be dark circles, it might be marks left from spots, it could be sun damage, it takes many, many forms. So you should really address them with sun care, skin care and cosmetic or makeup. If you were lighter skin tone, you might have a spot and that leaves a sort of red blotchy mark. If you were darker skin, it leaves more of a scar, it stays longer. We all need to invest in skin care and sun care protection to alleviate the pigmentation. Dark circles can be caused by DNA, late nights and a slightly thinner skin than normal. But it seems to be the number one problem for South Asian women. I'm picking the Clinique Even Better Eyes Dark Circle Corrector. So this will reduce the inflammation. Now the important thing here is to remember to use it twice a day. Give that a few minutes to work. I'm just using the Estee Lauder EE Cream all over to even out the skin. Just to fine tune with my fingers. Nicely smooths out the complexion and then we can come to colour correct the dark circles. I'm picking Bobbi Brown and it's a corrector in light peach and what this will do is it will take away the darkness, any blue underneath the skin. I'm patting that in. It's a very 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 thin layer. On top of the colour corrector I'm going to use the creamy concealer and they're going in the same area on the outer corner of the eye, the inner corner of the eye, under the eye. And they seem to seamlessly blend into your skin and just take the edge out of your dark shadows. If you see when you look at both sides, you see the effectiveness of the product. Sunspots or sun damage affects every skin tone and all skin types. If you're fair skinned, it could be shown in sort of unevenness or blotchiness. And if you're darker skinned, you're left with sort of darker patches or the residue of scarring. You do need to address it with your skincare. And one of the best things to do is to use Origins Mega Bright range. And this is a daily serum and you only need a couple of pumps and it should really go all over. Once the serum has had a chance to sink in, everyone must use a sun protection. Use something like this from Creme de la Mer. That's a lot of protection in a very light, fluid formula. In the meantime, while we're trying to address this in the long term, what do we do in the short term? I'm using a Tom Ford Traceless Foundation. The thing you must steer away from is having one big, thick layer. What you need is lots of fine, even layers, but the most important thing is be light-handed. So I'm using Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer, and this is for where you may have additional problems, and they do tend to be round the nose, on the chin, pinpoint those areas and evenly pat it in. You need to set that with a translucent powder and it's lovely, this particular one comes with its own coordinating powder. And you mustn't miss this step because it keeps everything in place. One of the concerns for all darker skins is actually marks from scarring or unevenness. This could be an aftermath of spots or scars from blemishes or hormonal problems. And I've used the Creme de la Mer Brightening Lotion, just applied with a cotton wool pad all over. It should help alleviate the problem over the course of time. I'm just using the Estee Lauder Enlightened Cream so that this will give a smooth base to help blend everything else seamlessly. Once that's done, I'm going to use a primer. 
I'm just using a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I'm just going to use it on the areas of concern. So that's just on the cheekbone area here. Very, very lightly dab and allow to set in. So I'm using a Smashbox 24 hour CC Spot Concealer. Take the brush, address where I want to cover first. You don't want to take it from one area to the other. You just want that to be a little added protection so that when you do put the foundation on top, it's got something to hold it. And this is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I'm using it in the palm of my hands first, just to give me control, with a lovely sculpting foundation brush. And I'm going to start again in the centre of the face and work my way out. It looks like it's all one tone. Lastly, you're just going to set that in place with a bit of translucent powder from Clinique all over problem areas just to make sure that should last all day. There's a huge and wide variety of products out there that will help you address and deal with your particular hyperpigmentation problem.